YouTube and welcome to Warhammer Age of Sigma issue 50. I can't believe we're at issue 50. Yes, we have another tool. Woohoo! Which goes really well with the techno agrain earth, which will be that nice base stuff. Brilliant. And I've also got a dawnstone layer. Yep. That's it. Crack two paints and a texture spreader to spread. But to be absolutely honest, I don't really use this as a texture spreader. Oh, maybe I should join the texture spreading revolution. It's a medium one. You've got like a screwdriver end here. And then the other one, it's more yeah, flat to spread it so that'd be cool anyway enough with the paints on to the internal contents read build paint play we're going to disembowel this magazine so we've got a mercurial history Ooh, a mysterious history it's like portraits or stamps with nothing in them techno basing oh here we go here we go finally something about basing I mean only a little bit late but there you go so you can put a few bits needed more bits needed it's like naked that you know finding a balance too much just right obviously you'll be painting over those sprays <laughs> of gold because it won't work there you are and then how to do it. Wet, dry, wet, dry, thick layer, thin layer. Eh. To be absolutely honest, I don't really care whether it's thick or thin as long as it's based. See now they've put an undercoat on theirs and then put the base on top. That's interesting. Base coat, texture, shade, dry brush, finish. Ooh, so complex now. So yeah, I would just whack the texture on there as the base coat, then shade it, then dry brush it because, you know. But then you run out of texture. Uh, interesting. Oh, annoying. And how to do bases, coral white. Finally. Then the earth shades. Rocks. Dawnstone shade. Rocks for occasions, it should be called. It's quite interesting. And then base coating and shading bits on your bases. Base coating your bits. That does sound dodgy. When you think about it. Oh look. Your little river plants. Ah, interesting. Finally a magazine issue I actually want to read. I know. That's shocking really. Oh there we go and didn't they just tell us this? Anyway, less is more, more is less. Though in this case, I think a little bit overboard. Realm Scout, Fury of the Forest. Alliance of Order, Alliance of Destruction. Fury of the Forest. I might study those base coats later in more detail. What we got? We are at issue 50. 51, this dude. The loon boss. And then, oh, flying dude. Oh, God, it's Pegasus Knights all over again. But this this time for the uh, Stormcast Eternals, or is he a flying dwarf for the Empire? Interesting. Well, you only get one of them. Oh, nine ninety nine price increase for a tenner. See, yeah, weekly popped up but still good value because these two paints and this brush alone if you bought them separately would obviously be more than a tenner I can assure you so overall very pleased so I hope you've enjoyed this video yeah please like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell for my next video thank you so much for the support 